Avi Yemeni. If that name's not familiar to you, then consider yourself fortunate. If you continue to watch this video, I'm afraid your fortune's about to change. G'day everyone, today we're going to be looking at a far-right Australian media figure called Avi Yemeni. He works for Rebel News, a far-right media outlet founded by Ezra Levant, a self-hating Jewish Nazi. Now, even if you're not familiar with Arvi and his work, you might be familiar with some of his colleagues who work or previously worked at Rebel News. A big name at the moment who is employed with Rebel News is Ian Miles Chong, a man of such little journalistic integrity, he's openly admitted to lying about stories to make them seem more salacious. For you British viewers, you might be familiar with Tommy Robertson, a Nazi, and another previous employee at Rebel News, Lauren Southern, the woman who pioneered the Great Replacement Conspiracy, a direct influence on the Christchurch shooter. So this is the kind of company that Arby's keeping, hanging around with Nazis, despite being Jewish himself. But hey, Jews are working for Nazis against Islam. So today we're going to be looking at a couple of these videos. The first one, more of a lesson of dealing with people like him, when these far-right fake news outlet people come up to you. So a lesson in how to engage, or how to not engage. Well, we'll see. We'll get into it. The video after that is pretty new, but just the other day, it's Arby talking to leftists at the climate change protest. Apparently, all the leftists didn't have any good arguments. I'm a leftist. I'd say my arguments are pretty good. Let's see if I can't pick up the sack that the other leftists dropped. First up, this is the only BLM protest video you need to see. Let's take a look and see exactly why he's there. So we're here at the Black Lives Matter protest in Melbourne, Australia. Now we've come here to ask some basic questions because we're in a COVID crisis at the moment, restrictions. Anybody can be fined for going to work. About 40,000 people have descended on the city for the death of an African-American in Minnesota at the hands of a white police officer. So, do any of them even know Justine Damon's name? The Australian woman that was murdered by the same police force. Oh, it's one of those. Let's find out. She got shot dead by an African-American. Is that just as bad or not? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Literally, the Liberty Hangout tactic. Somebody says something, and you just zoom in and repeat it and distort the voice. Okay, so we can already tell that this is the kind of tactic that Arby's here to employ against the protesters. So taking some event which contradicts the narrative. So here's the thing, he doesn't care about Justine. I've already forgot her name, Sumi Arby. He's there to shit on the Black Lives Matter movement. He's not there because he cares about Justine and he wants to spread awareness about her death. He's there to attack the validity of the protest by showing the protesters ignorance of this other killing. He's not here because he cares about Black Lives Matter. He's not here because he cares about Justine. He's here to misdirect and make them look stupid. It's just shit, the amount of people that are like, all lives matter. It's like, yeah, okay. Does all, all lives matter? Not right now. Yes! Until Black Lives Matter, all lives don't matter. Why do you think no one ever protested like this? 40,000 people in the city for somebody who's not even Australian. But when Justine Damon was shot dead, and she doesn't have a criminal issue, why, why do you think that is? Well, I'd have to say that's a bit of white supremacy, is it not? You know, that's not, um, I mean, I... Why is it white supremacy? Well, uh, because she's white. Because she's white. She's white. Okay, I was like kidding about the Liberty Hangout tactic, but yeah, that's literally the same thing. People like Caitlin Bennett having a response to it what people say, so let's make it look silly by distorting the voice and repeating it. Okay, obviously you admit you're having a clap back. You know how many white Australians have died in police custody? I can, to be honest. Are you arguing ha! with the statistic or you just don't like it? I think you yeah. need to people of colour and get their voices. I'm a person of colour. Oh, you see. Conservatives love to play in poll when it suits them. Thank you. Are we off to the protest today? Yeah. Yes, we are. Can I ask you something? So George Floyd is what kicked this off, is that right? Yep. Yeah. You care about George? Of course. Of course. Do you know somebody called Justine Damon? No. No. You sure? Yep. Do you know who she is? I'm not explicitly, but I do. I've heard just the name. We'll jump on the train with you. You going on this train? Yeah. To bring awareness that it's also happening within Australia. W what's happening? Racism. Yeah. What, what racism exactly? That we neglect the First Nation of this country. H how do we neglect them? We don't provide them with the same opportunities that we have. Which opportunities? It's this is systematic racism. It's the same thing. You can't deny that it's not happening. Oh god, the optics. The optics are so bad. Look, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't think these people are in any way, shape, or form less passionate about this issue. But the thing about Avi is that he's a media personality. He's got experience in front of a camera, behind a microphone. He knows how to ask questions, to poke and prod. These people are just regular people off the street. They might not be content creators online, they might not be trained people who are used to talking in front of a camera. He's putting them on the spot. And yes, he's just asking questions, but the thing, because of their uncertainty, it makes 
him look good by proxy. By making them look bad, he is attacking the cause. And as without, without even arguing against the cause, he's making them look bad and him look good. The best thing that you can do in this situation when you're approached by someone like him, who's not there to report on the vent, who's just there to cause trouble, just walk away. It's best not to engage with these people, just walk away. No, I like the wording, systematic racism. Give me an example. 432 Aboriginals that have died in police custody. How many white Australians have died in police this custody? For, by the way? What news Do you know how many white Australians have died in police custody? I don't really care, to be honest. Don't want to have a conversation. You don't care. Ha! Indeed, my friend. No, I guess with George Floyd, maybe given his skin colour, it just kind of trigger, is more triggering to the population here because, I mean, as my sign says, same racism, different soil. Um, yeah. Do you know a person called Justine Damon? No. 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 Justine Damon? Do any of you know that name? Not that I know of, I haven't heard of it. George Floyd is just one of many and it's been happening since, you know... Yeah, I understand that, but, but the problem is that statistically, actually, white people are killed m at a higher rate by police, in police custody. Un oh no, 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 oh no, no. Black people are disproportionately affected by police brutality. So while there might be more incidents of police brutality perpetrated against white people, Black people are disproportionately, relative to their percentage that they make up of society, affected by police brutality. Can't get that one over us. Unarmed white people. More unarmed white people. Yeah, where are you going to get facts from? PR News. Like, what is that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got our facts from our news organisation, not like any kind of statistical body, just from the news organisation. We make them so they're fact. Yeah, no. Are you, are you arguing with the statistic or you just don't like it? I think you can talk to people of colour and get their voices. I'm a person of colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... I guess my person of colour status just wasn't going to cut it there, so... I like Again, I thought conservatives hated it, Paul. Oh, someone a little bit darker than me. Justine uh, Damon was murdered, unarmed, no criminal history, by a black police officer in Minnesota. Okay. There was no rallies here in Australia, the country, yeah, you're Australian. Yeah, yeah. Why? For, for that, for that one specifically, because the majority of black people who get murdered in um, in America aren't by black on black crime or by black people. It's actually by police officers or just white people. It's not the majority of them is not from black people. So that's why we didn't need a protest for that. And I love my black brothers yeah, and sisters, yeah, yeah. but that's actually false. That's not true. You alright? Hey, you guys aren't going to the protest, are you? No, no, I've seen your video. But what about your shirt? You look like you're already black shirts matter. No. We've just been out for lunch at the pub, we're going back to his pub. <laughs> hey, did you social distance? Yeah, that's why we're sitting on separate seats. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing <laughs> Have you heard of someone called Justine Damon? No. No. Alright, I think we're about done with this one. Oh, cringe. Alright, again, unless you're ready to go, like unless you're the first kind of person that is ready to debate it at the drop of a hat, if you see someone like him, just walk away. He's holding the mic, he's got the camera, and guess what? He's gonna edit this video later. Even if you smack him down with facts and logic, it might never make the final cut. Look, I'll give Ivy credit. He's smarter than Caitlin Bennett. He knows not to put in a video when he gets owned. He's not gonna put that in. The best thing you can do is just walk away. If at the end of the day, people like him go home with just footage of people walking away and not engaging with his stupid argument, then he doesn't get paid. Like, unironic hashtag walk away. This is the real walk away. Walk away from fake news journalists like RV or many. All right, well, that was horrible. Let's move on to the next one, see if I can give my leftist comrades a helping hand. This is how you smash leftist hate like a pro. All right, stakes are high. Let's see how we go. I actually follow you on Facebook and shit. I think you're an idiot. Okay. Yeah. Indeed, my friend. You're off to a good start so far. I love speaking to people who think I'm an idiot. That's cool. Okay, let's have a chat. So, are you, wh wh which part of me is an idiot? Oh, geez, let's see. Um, your anti-climate change stance, your denial of the facts and science about trans people, the constant support of the ballot fraud conspiracy, um, anti-BLM, ooh, your inconsistency on views when it comes to police. You're very anti-police when it comes to lockdown protests, but you're very pro-police when it comes to BLM. Hmm, would that be inconsistency in your views, Arby? Uh, well, I think you are just full of shit, like you, misinformation, you... Like what? Like all that? Uh, I don't know, well, I haven't been, like, following you recently. I had to stop, it was bad for my mental health. What made you stop? Which thing exactly that I said made you stop watching me? Um, so I think, it was a few months ago. Oh, God. Again, the optics. People, if... Don't go gun ho if you're not ready to throw hands. Like, not literally. I 
of course would not advocate for political violence against somebody like Avi. But seriously, if, you're no, if you don't have any arguments prepared, don't engage. With people like him, just walk away. How do you find lockdown? Let's, let's talk person to person, human to human. Don't we all... I'm in talking to you. Why not? Because you're a fascist. Okay, what makes me a fascist? You're far right. I'm not interested in talking to you. What, what, what makes me far right? Mate, the woman's told you to jog on twice already. Leave her the fuck alone. Piss off. Hitler wouldn't have wanted me on board. I come no, from no, ultra-orthodox... No, we're not in the... Mate, Hitler would have loved your anti-Islam stance. I not Hitler no more. Like, fascism looks very different today. Okay, so, does fascism... What, what does fascism look like today? Oh, well, that's a big question. Um, I mean, it's just, like, very more discreet. And under... Like, it's not so overt, like, Hitler would have said, you know, like, if you're not blue-eyed and fair-haired, like, you can't get away with that shit these days. So that's what I'm saying. Well, that's not true. There's a lot of people that do say that, and they are fascists, yeah, and that's why they hate me yeah but there's also a lot of like you know right-wing people with fascist ideas that like are, what like what ideas well like i don't fucking know oh, oh, please people don't engage with people like this they're not there to report news they're not there to report facts they're there to cause trouble they're there to make you look stupid and by proxy your ideas look bad <laughs> what am i done today being a dumb That's no re way to speak to a person of colour. What do you think of the... <laughs> Based debate Lord Melbourne biker. Just call him a dumb cunt and walk away. That's exactly how you would engage with people. Just fuck you and walk off. And again, seen some more impulse thrown in there. Who the fuck cares? Lockdown protests that are still going on. Why not? Oh, because we're not in lockdown anymore. So why are they not allowed to protest? Why'd you tell her I'm far right? A racist yeah, now. Everybody knows that. Can you stop throwing... Wait, is this the same woman? Is this the same woman from before with the dark hair and the white top? Is he still bothering her? Man, she told you three times to leave her alone. Why are you still in her face? Like, fuck man, look, Avi, we both know that you have no problem getting physical with women. But she said to leave her the fuck alone. Are you throwing your white privilege around? Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I would never attend a lockdown protest because it's unsafe. Um, Did you go to Black Lives Matter one? Well, that was before we had, well, yes, I did, but that was before we were in lockdown. No, we were still, there were still restrictions, it was illegal to protest. There was four cases on the day of... Uh, no, 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 there actually hasn't been any cases no, no, from no, that. No, you didn't hear what I said. There were four cases, new cases on the day of the Black Lives Matter. I didn't say it came from there. There oh, were right, four, yeah. new, on the day of the lockdown this week on Tuesday, where they pepper sprayed the crowd, there were zero cases for four days prior to, and yeah. there was a lot more active cases at the time of the Black Lives Matter protest, and we weren't even, we weren't yeah, even but testing but as much. the difference is, like, the causes of those protests are actually quite different. So when... So does that matter? Yes, absolutely. The cause matters. Obviously. Please don't call me a racist because that white privilege should not be thrown around like that. Um. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Oh my God, fucking cringe, I swear to God. All right, um, that's about all we're gonna get out of this dumb cunt. Uh, more of the story, don't engage with idiots like this. They're there to cause trouble. They don't give a shit about reporting on the news or any kind of facts. They're just there to spread misinformation and to make your cause look stupid. Um, regarding how Avi Yemeni is a fascist, yeah, like the reasons I said, denying science, denying the science about trans people, denying the science about systemic racism, denying the science about the climate change, denying the science about um, the recent US election. Oh, and he's a Zionist, so yeah, fascist. Folks, this is another figure in Australia that we're going to be covering a lot more on this channel. Unfortunately, the online content in Australia is dominated by right-wing figures like Avi here. He has over 300k subscribers, so please help the left out. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get a big left-wing YouTuber up there so that we can combat some of these dumb ideas like his. I'm Louis Vuitton. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the notifications, and hit the like button. I'll see you all very soon in another video.